rocks and minerals. The earth's crust is made up of different types of rocks. A rock is a natural deposit that forms the solid part of the earth's crust. They can be as hard as granite or marble and can be as soft as particles of sand, clay or gravel. A rock is not a chemical compound but an agglomeration of minerals. Types of Rocks Rocks may vary in their physical properties and this variation is due to the process that gives rise to rocks. Rocks may be classified into three categories on the basis of their origin. These are igneous, metameric and sea industry. Igneous rocks. They are also called primary rocks because they are formed first. The word igneous is taken from the Latin word ignis meaning fire. These rocks are formed by the process of solidification of molten rock material called magma. Igneous rocks are very hard. Most rocks found on earth belong to this category. They are good building materials. Examples of such rocks are basalt, granite and dolerite. They can be classified further into two subtypes. Extrusive igneous rocks During the volcanic eruptions, when magma erupts and on reaching the earth's surface, it cools and solidifies. As a result, rocks are formed on the surface known as volcanic rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks They are formed by the solidification of magma below the surface of the earth in the cracks or joints. Inside the earth, magma cools very slowly and as a result forms crystals of large size. Sometimes the magma solidifies at a great depth. Due to very slow cooling, large size of rock crystals are formed very deep down. The deep-seated igneous rocks are called plutonic rocks. Sedimentary rocks They are also known as secondary rocks because they are formed from the sediments derived from the pre-existing rocks. Igneous rocks are exposed to the forces of nature. These forces break the rock on the surface of earth into small pieces. These small pieces turn to tiny particles with time. These tiny particles are transported by agents of nature like rivers or winds and are deposited at certain places. The deposition of such materials occurs in layers. That is why they are called stratified or sedimentary rocks. These rocks often contain fossils of animal and plant life. They are comparatively soft. These are formed when remains of vegetation and animals were buried and trapped within layers of other sediments. With the passage of time, the trapped remains changed into coal or petroleum. This is why coal and petroleum are known as fossil fuels. They help us to calculate the age of the rocks and tell us about things that happened millions of years ago. Sedimentary rocks can also be classified into three subtypes. Mechanically formed sedimentary rocks. When rocks are exposed to weather changes, they are broken and thus carried to a particular site where such material is deposited in layers and the rocks are formed. Examples of such rocks are clay, gravel and sandstone. Chemically formed sedimentary rocks. They are formed by the process of evaporation of water containing mineral salt in solution. In deserts or shallow lakes, water evaporates leaving behind a layer of salts. These salts get consolidated into sedimentary rocks. Examples of such rocks are common salt, gypsum and potash. Organically formed sedimentary rocks. They are formed by the accumulation of the remnant parts of organisms 
plants and animals examples of such rocks are chalk coal and limestone metamorphic rocks the meaning of metamorphic is changed or altered these rocks are either igneous or sedimentary rocks which have undergone a change due to excessive heat or pressure this change of one type of rock to another is called metamorphic rocks for example due to excessive heat limestone changes into marble and sandstone changes to quartzite metamorphic rocks are very hard rock cycle the three categories of rocks are constantly forming from one another in a continuous circuit which is known as rock cycle when igneous rocks are exposed to weather changes they are broken and eroded and give birth to sedimentary rocks due to excessive pressure and heat these rocks further undergo a change into metamorphic rocks thus this cycle of change from one type of rock into another is called rock cycle rocks can be used for various purposes as building materials marble and granite or fuels coal and petroleum as precious stones diamonds and gems as sources of chemicals phosphates and potash as sources of metals iron and copper etc